This is a custom patina on Aldo shoes. First step is I am stripping them with acetone. And you'll notice that these shoes in particular uh, strip really easily compared to some of the others I've worked on. Here I've got the first shoe almost completely stripped. Just take your time and be patient and eventually you'll get the finish off and have a good canvas to begin the patina work on. Here I'm using Fibing's Beige, which is a nice light color, and I use that as my base coat for a lot of the patina projects. I find it to be kind of similar to the older, lighter shade of Walnut for Allen Edmonds. The first shoe has its base coat done. Now I'm starting on the second shoe. After letting the base coat dry for about 30 minutes, I begin with Fibing's Light Brown to begin some antiquing. I like to use the cap to dip the brush into and typically will wipe it onto a cloth as well just to keep the brush relatively dry so it doesn't oversaturate the leather. Applying the dye with little dabbing motions like this helps to prevent a solid line between the light and the dark. Helps to make more of a fade. Here I've moved on to Saphir Havana, which is a little bit darker color, and I use this to continue the antiquing. I find it's better to work from light colors to dark.
I had originally intended to keep the toe lighter, which is kind of a reverse patina, but when I showed the client the process, he really preferred the darkened toe, so no problem. We're going to darken it up the same way we did the rest with the light brown and then the Havana. Now I've moved on to fibing dark brown to give it even more of a burnishing. With the dye work complete, it's time to rehydrate the leather. I like to use Venetian shoe cream. This will also remove any surface dye that did not penetrate into the leather. You'll also notice that the dry dye on the surface leaves a kind of hazy finish to the leather. And so after wiping it down with the cream, the true color is revealed. After rehydrating the leather, I did let the shoe cream dry and gave the shoes a good brushing. After that, it's time to move on to the wax. And so I'm starting with Saphir Mirror Gloss in a dark brown. Continuing the shine process, just using the dark brown mirror gloss with a little drop of water. This part takes quite a while, it could be 30 minutes or longer sometimes to get that good mirror shine. After building a nice base of wax with the mirror gloss, I like to finish off with Saphir Pate Lux for the final high gloss finish. And here we have the final product. I was really happy with the way this patina turned out. Hopefully you will enjoy this. And please like, subscribe, and share with anyone that you think would like to see this. Also, please feel free to ask any questions that you have about the process.